This is a Minecraft video and this is about the Minecraft mob called the Digimod. And honestly, it's a pretty cool mod because the Digimobs actually have abilities. They can be tamed in water, they can be used to fight and I am irradiated from another mod, don't worry about it. Uh, what I'll be doing in this video is I'll be throwing Digimobs against each other, just seeing what this is about. I won't be going to how you're supposed to tame them and honestly at least from the start it's rather easy because you just start with them. You literally just start with them. Also, Bearmon? Yeah, Digimon names just continue being themselves. Do these things level up in the wild if I have them fight each other? Or two against the Bearmon? Oh, this is funny. Yeah, one thing I will say I really do appreciate about this Digimon. First, the overall designs are rather cool. But second, they actually have an animated attacks and that's kind of rare just from anything, whether Pokemon or Digimon. And it's just very, very, very appreciated. I can't even tell for certain how many Digimobs are in the mod, but, but, we're just gonna go through a couple, see their abilities. Clearly enough, <laughs> uh, level matters quite a lot. Does it? Seems like they barely have any difference in HP, at least the Android one. Hmm. I haven't actually watched any Digimon in a little tiny bit. This is Turiermon? I don't even remember the existence of this one in particular. Uh, I think this is probably the evolution of Bearmon, Grizzlymon, yeah, who would have thought. Very, very difficult to figure out. Yeah, I, I like Digimon. I really do. Definitely more of a Pokemon guy, but not sure how many Digimon uh, are in the game. You can start with any one of these guys, which by the way, super cute, adorable, I love them. You can have Digivices, you can level them up, upgrade their abilities. The whole Digi evolution line, uh, it's, it's kind of a bother, kind of difficult to figure out but overall overall just when it comes to aesthetics and overall abilities and designs i really like it so i'm just gonna move around yeah grizzly one is definitely much stronger than i thought here we have some gawapamon oh i actually remember your existence <laughs> uh, okay they're actually wow they do 36 damage yeah i shouldn't forget but these things are actually rather tough aren't they this is by the way in 1.20.1 this digimobs mod and Looks pretty cool. Oh. Seems like each Digimon though, at least in the wild, does have just a single ability. I'm certain that if you obviously enough train them yourself, you can get pretty cool results. Regardless, I also wonder, I also wonder, I also wonder, is it possible to get, I don't know, something ridiculously broken like an Omnimon just in the wild? I would doubt that. I'm also not certain whether Digimon Fusion is in here. There's a lot of possibilities and this is a seal, not the Pokemon, but just a seal. I'm also still glowing. Anyway, well, hey, here we have some more Digimon. This is Jellymon from, I think this is one of the newer ones. Seems like they have electric abilities, which fair enough, jellyfish. Ooh, we have some, I don't know what are these, some Squidmons. This is Octomon. How can I be so stupid? Difference between Squid and Octopus is obvious. But yeah, once again, I just really, really do love the overall design of the mod itself. It's just super appreciated. And we have some aqua data. Ooh, here we have some Puyoyomon. Puyoyomon, there we go. Pre-evolutions of Jellymon. Ugh, can I look at the DJ evolution lines, I think? There we go. Oh, I should have this on me. This is actually helpful. It's also part of the mod, so it makes sense. Oh, does it show pre-evolution? So... Looks like the Octomon, is it evolution? I think this is a virus type. Doesn't show me the pre-evolution. Ooh, get someone against an Octomon. This could be exciting, maybe. Not sure, let's see. Seems like each and every single, oh, 40, 40? Okay, yeah, that's a decent damage. But anyway, Octomon against Gesomon? Sure. But yeah, pretty big mod. Has this amount of creatures. And overall, ooh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay, I thought you were gonna show me the pre-evolution, I guess not. Also, wait, I do how much damage? I do 8 damage just by punching? Why do I have these stats? Is it because I was irradiated and I mutated to be super powerful or something? I have no idea. Once again, the radiation thing, not from Digimon. Oh yeah, also, different Digimon do spawn at night, like... Mimicmon. Whoa, I actually didn't know you existed, but... They look rather cool. You have bullet stacks, just like many Digimon. Digimon does love their guns, to be fair. It's definitely the way edgier Pokemon. <laughs> are there any gun-based Pokemon? I guess I'm right, but even then, the gun-based Pokemon are definitely way more wholesome than what Digimon has. Digimon commits to what it is, and I appreciate it for what it is, I do. Super for Pokemon, but Digimon is awesome. Regardless, regardless. Yeah, we have Chuckmon. Oh, 
Wait, you're weird. You can ring a bell. You seem familiar. You have a rocket launcher and you're shooting ice balls. Or just snowballs. More accurately. Wait, was that 54 damage or was it just imagine? No, they do 20 something. Yeah, 54 would be insane. Also, I'm pretty positive I can't just get your spawn eggs, right? Unfortunately. Yeah. I would love to spawn all of them just to see. Name came on. What? Yeah, I really haven't touched Digimon in a while. Oh, this is one of the poop based ones. As I said, Digimon commits. Digimon commits. This tells me the type. And it's a fish type? Yeah. Hmm, here it is. Also, very dumb of it to jump in water. But yeah, this is what it is, I suppose. Yeah, that's one of the biggest reasons why I do appreciate Digimon mobs. They actually can fight the mobs. Which is why I also like Poke. Is it called Poke Cubes? It's one of the new uh, Pokemon mobs that actually allows you to fight the creatures in Minecraft. I really do appreciate it. I'm not gonna go into that discussion. Now we're focusing on to Digimon. Digimon, Digimon. I don't think this one can spawn into the wild, right? It seems like an... I think it's an armor evolution. Oh, that's cool. I can literally just spawn all of them. And I can have... Wow, I can... <sighs> I mean, yeah, this one's pretty tough. It's level 29. Can you fight a seal, though? That's a real question. <laughs> and... Oh, wow, the seal is actually gonna fight it. It's actually adorable. But yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, seal. But yeah, let's, let's summon something else that might be a little stronger than a seal. We have Air Dragomon? Whoa. Okay, you're rather cool. You're a pretty well level, though. You have fire abilities and you got destroyed. Fair enough. Wizardmon should be able to fight a little, I would think. I also think there's supposed to be multiple types of Wizardmon. I mean, it's probably gonna say Wizardmon Light or something if I need another one. And yeah, Pegasmon continues on wrecking havoc. Pretty cool. This actually used to be one of my personal favorites. I really enjoyed Lemon, but oh. <laughs> Okay, Pegasmon, I understand, you're flexing a little bit at this point. And... Oh, it doesn't actually show me a pre- Hmm. That's weird. I swear you actually evolved from Batamon, right? Really need to refresh myself on the Digimon lore. We have Tyranomon, I actually do remember. Oh. As I said, we have Tyranomon, which I do remember. And... Oh, this one's just a champion. Yeah, it's gonna get absolutely shredded. Vidramon, oh, this could be very strong. Okay, this actually is about an equal match. <laughs> and it's kind of funny considering the anime, I think. Ah, memories. But anyway. Yeah, actually, they seemed rather equal, obviously, and if he was on full health, so it wasn't a fair fight. Wait. Oh. No, you're not what they thought. Not even remotely. <sighs> Whenever you digivolve your Digimon into one of these guys and you cry to the end of your life because it's literally its attack. Oh wow, Vidramon was brutal there for no apparent reason, this is what it is. So this is actually a perfect fight. Pegasmon against Unimon? Oof, the level difference. That's it nonetheless, I'm curious. Seems like they have the exact same attacks, which, yeah, that's obviously enough reasonable. They have made it so that each type of Digimon has specific animation, but not every Digimon has its own animation. Still, quite insane when it comes to just overall looks and abilities. I just really, really do appreciate it. Runnermon? There is seriously, I didn't... Mm, yeah, Digimon names being something. But I wanted to show Tokomon because I think, if I'm correct... Yeah, you do evolve into Batamon. I mean, we have Anjumon, which makes a lot of sense, right? That's pretty much his evolution. Which kind of leads me to an idea that... Am I wrong? That Pegasmon is an evolution? I'm so confident it is. Seems like we have only up to Champion or the one above it. I think. I don't think there are any Digimon above that level, which is fair because once again, I mean, maybe? I'm really not certain. At least it doesn't seem like there is a lot of Digimon that are higher than the champion tier. Which once again is fair because after you get above champion you get some ridiculous powers. Also, it seems like the vaccine types actually do heal themselves. Just noticed that. Yeah, that's rather cool. What can the runner one do? Because might as well finish up with him? Sure. Sure. I really would appreciate if it actually had spawn eggs in general. Obviously, if I can use commands to summon everything, but it's worth the aggravating. And also, it doesn't give me an idea of how many Digimon there are exactly. And at least when it comes to the items, at least I haven't seen anything that shows me uh, the amount of Digimon in general. But overall, overall, overall. I am just gonna say that personal favorite is Pegasmon. And it's not only because he's just the strongest in the mod, I just really enjoy the design. Regardless though. Hope you had fun, there's a video there, you can start the channel there and for now, bye!